evaluate the following products in the form A plus BI, where A is the real part and BI is the imaginary part. So basically we want to evaluate this. So multiply out the double brackets, binomial expansion, and end up with a complex number. So a real part and an imaginary part. I'm going to start off by cracking open the first egg, or the first set of double brackets, and bringing the root 2 down here, and the plus 3 root i down here. And then I'm going to open up two sets of brackets, and put the second egg into each of those sets of brackets. So binomial expansion, when we have two double brackets or two eggs, we crack open the first egg. The first part of the first egg comes down here. Second part of the first egg comes down here. We do not crack open the second egg. We bring it down here and down here. Okay, so then I'm going to multiply out my brackets. Root 2 by root 8 gives me root 16 because 2 by 8 is 16. Root 2 by minus root i gives me minus root 6i. The plus by the minus gives the minus. Root 2 by root 3 gives root 6. And then we just stick on the i. Then we have root 3i multiplied by root 8. That gives me root 24i. Because root 3 by root 8 is root 24, because 3 by 8 is 24. And then we just stick on the i. And then we have root 3i multiplied by minus root 3i, which gives me minus 3i squared. The plus by the minus gives the minus. Root 3 by root 3 gives 3. And i by i gives i squared. A general rule of roots that we can learn off, and it's not given to us in our formula log tables in the exam, is root x multiplied by root x gives me x. So for example, root 2 multiplied by root 2 gives me 2. Root 3 multiplied by root 3 gives me 3, which is what we had here. Root 3 multiplied by root 3 just gave us 3. Root 4 multiplied by root 4 gives us 4, etc. You should learn this off by heart. Okay, so very important, in one of our terms, we have an i squared. So we have minus 3 i squared. And when we are working with a complex number, complex number question, whenever we see an i squared, we want to swap it for a minus 1 with brackets around it. Very, very important that we put the brackets around it. So minus 3 i squared becomes minus 3 multiplied by minus 1. A minus by minus is a plus. And 3 by 1 is 3. So that's where we get this plus 3 from. Okay, so root 16 would have given us 4. The square root of 16 is 4. Minus 3 i squared would have given us plus 3. So what we've done here is group together the real parts. And then minus 6 i minus root 6i just comes down here. No changes to that just yet. And then root 24i can be broken down to root 4 root 6i because factors of 24 are 4 times 6. It's one of the factor pairs. And we would like to have a root 6 as one of the factors because we have a root 6 over here. So root 24i breaks down to root 4 root 6i. So another of our root rules that we need to learn off is root ab equals root a multiplied by root b. So that's where the 4 and the 6 came from. So whatever number we have in our root, we can break it down to a factor pair of that number with two roots and multiplying them together. So that's how root 24 became root 4 multiplied by root 6. And we just kept the i stuck on. Okay, 
so 4 plus 3 gives us 7. That's where that comes from. The minus root 6i just comes down here to be minus root 6i. We don't change that just yet. And the square root of 4 is 2. So root 4, root 6i actually becomes 2 root 6i. Okay, so I can write in an invisible 1 in front of my minus root 6i because this is really minus 1 root 6i. So I can kind of treat the root 6i like I had an, an x. If this was minus x, it would really be minus 1x. So I have minus 1 root 6i plus 2 root 6i and minus 1 plus 2 gives me 1. So technically down here, I have plus 1 root 6i. We don't actually need to write that in, but that's where the 1 came from. Minus 1 plus 2 gives me 1. So for example, if I had minus 1x plus 2x, I would end up with plus 1x. But I don't have x's, I have root 6i. So minus 1 root 6i plus 2 root 6i gives me plus 1 root 6i. And the 7 just stays as it was. So I have my real part first, which is the 7, and the plus root 6i as my imaginary part. Okay, for another example of a similar question, again, I'm going to crack open the first egg. The 3 is going to come down here, and the minus root 3i is going to come down here, minus root 3i. And then the 2 plus 3 root 3i just stays as the second egg. So we've cracked open the first egg, the 3 came down here, the minus 3 root 3i came down here, and the second egg stayed as it was, and we just bring it down here and down here. And then all we have to do is multiply out the brackets and simplify. Okay, so 3 multiplied by 2 gives me 6, and 3 multiplied by 3 root 3i is going to give me 9 root 3i, because 3 times 3 is 9, and we still have the root 3i stuck on. So just like if that was 3 multiplied by 3x, it would give me 9x. 3 multiplied by 3 root 3i gives me 9 root 3i. Okay. Then we have minus root 3i multiplied by 2 gives me minus 2 root 3i. So again, if we had, for example, minus x multiplied by 2, it would give us minus 2x. So if we treat the root 3i like an x, minus root 3i multiplied by 2 gives us minus 2 with root 3i stuck on at the back. And then we have minus, three, minus root 3i multiplied by 3 root 3i. And that gives us minus 3 times 3i squared. So again, that's using that rule that we looked at a minute ago where root x multiplied by root x just gives you x. So root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give me 3. So first of all, a minus by a plus gives a minus. And root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give me 3. And i multiplied by i will give me i squared. Okay, so now we have 6 plus 9 root 3i minus 2 root 3i minus 3 times 3i squared. So the 6 just stays as it is for the moment. And then we have 9 root 3i minus 2 root 3i gives us 7 root 3i. So again, we can treat this like an x. If we had 9x minus 2x, we would have 7x. So 9 root 3i minus 2 root 3i gives us 7 root 3i. And then minus 3 multiplied by 3 gives us minus 9. Okay, so when we see an i squared in complex numbers, it's very important that we swap the i squared with a minus 1 and brackets around it. So minus 9i squared becomes minus 9 multiplied by minus 1. Minus by minus gives a plus, And 9 by 1 gives us 9. And that is where this 9 comes from. Okay, so the 6 just came down here. The minus 9i squared became plus 9. And then we still had the 7 root 3i here. So we've grouped together the real parts 
with the real parts and we only have the one imaginary part so that just stays as it is and then 6 and 9 gives us 15 roots um, 7 root 3i stays as 7 root 3i 15 is our real part 7 root 3i is our imaginary part